Are you okay? Oh, that hurt. I, Are you still alive? I cannot believe you made it. Oh my god. I can't either. Did, did you see that? I thought you were gone. Did you see that? I was on the board walking between the two buildings and then, and then I heard a crack. I was here for that part. I heard it too. Cam, I think I felt it cracking. I told you, that board was not going to hold. But it did. But I made it. I really did that. I, I lost my sunglasses though. Do I need them? Yes. I read about this. Uh, the napkins too. Seriously, when that board started breaking and then you oh my fall, God. I caught the edge and then I pulled myself up. <laughs> I, I really did that. Oh, and this is why you don't skip arm day. <laughs> I think I bruised everything though. Oh shit, what about you? Yeah. You have to jump. I can't jump that far. I skipped arm day and leg day and whatever muscles it takes to jump from one building to another to escape a bunch of fucking zombies day. Do we know that they're zombies though? Those are zombies. But are we sure that they're zombies? It's like that movie um, 28 Days Later. Huh. Everybody thought it was a zombie movie. Actually, I don't give a fuck. I'm the one stuck on the building with them, and yeah, I told you about 28 days later. Okay, but you, you still have to jump. I can't jump that far. Just believe that you can do it. No, Oprah, that's not how life actually works. Okay, um, is there another board over there? Like the one that broke when you tried walking across it? Yeah, it's like that. No. Just the short one, you know, holding the door shut. The door with the zombies on the other side. <sighs> Are there any boards over there? Let me look. <sighs> Didn't even want to come to this wedding. <sighs> I know, but look, I'm still not totally convinced that they're zombies. I mean, zombies are not real. Tell that to the zombies. And they die when you get them in the head. Most things do, though. Right. Are there any boards? Or rope or anything useful? A flamethrower, perhaps? That would not work. <laughs> because why would there be a flamethrower on the roof? And then you would have on fire not zombies stumbling around after you. All right, well, for one, I was kidding about the flamethrower, and for two, uh, will you just find me something to help me out, please? I'm looking. I'm right about the glasses and, and napkins, you know. People always forget. If you're gonna be fighting zombies, you need to protect yourself from stray zombie juice getting into your eyes or mouth. Like, Everyone's worried about scratches and bites, but, like, stray zombie juice getting into your eyes seems way riskier. <sighs> this is all Terry's fault, by the way. I cannot believe this is happening. Who invites that many exes to their wedding? Look, I thought you said that it was okay to invite exes to a wedding. Well, all your exes? Seriously, who does that? What does that even have to do with anything? It's why you were invited, and then me. Yeah. Like, Terry, really? The plus one? Just the plus one? We've been together how many years, and I'm just the plus one on the invite? No. Like you'd bring someone else. I wish you brought someone else. Should have stayed home over the plus one thing. I could be at home, watching TV, cursing Terry in peace. And we can't even call for help because they took our cell phones. Be fucking no cell phone rule. 
Because Terry wanted everyone to be in the moment? Fuck the moment! Because, and, and I don't know which was worse, the color palette or the DJ. Look, look. Seriously. Look. Yes, I'm ranting. It's, don't even start it. Ranting helps me and, and I was totally right this time. <sighs> Fucking Terry. This wedding sucked. You, Even before the zombies, you have never liked Terry. No, I no. haven't. I mean, it's just jealous much? Are there any boards over there? I'm looking. I'm looking too. And I'm not jealous. Terry sucks. Okay, but how does that make the not zombies Terry's fault? Well, word is, Terry's ex, one of the many other exes invited to this wedding, Jordan, the one with the creepy psycho vibes, works for some secret government project. Probably zombie related. I bet it was the meat. Seriously, I was thinking about this when we were hiding in the bathroom stall. Jordan did something to the meat. Just sat there all afternoon, all creepy like, and then ducks out just as they're serving dinner. And then everything goes to hell. Fucking Jordan. Who? Secret government project? If it's so secret, why does everyone know the secret exists? Then wouldn't that make this Jordan's fault? I don't know. Fucking Terry. I, I don't see anything over here. I don't have anything either. You have to jump. I can't jump. Just back up and run fast. I know how jumping from one building to another works. You didn't even have to jump. You didn't want to walk on the board. That's why I went first. And where's that board now? Well, I guess you're just right about everything then, huh? Well, I was right about the vegetarian option. It is really not that far. It looks far. It just looks farther than it actually is. Come on. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Maybe there's a net between the buildings in case something falls. But whatever. I'm just you're gonna have to look. I'm I'm afraid of heights, and I still have to get across. Oh, and no, there is nothing. How far down is it? Um, maybe you can just try jumping it. Just try? This isn't like attempting a sourdough. I only get one chance. Well, there's always the alternative. Maybe we can just wait for someone to rescue us. Shit. Maybe. But you're gonna have to go right now. No, not without you. Really? Yes! Is, is this love or... Do you not understand the full situation? One of the stray wedding zombies is going to come infect your building and then the government is going to come clear the area. Just clear the entire thing! I saw a movie like that! A movie? But not a documentary! Well, because there are no documentaries about zombies or not zombies! Well, not yet. <clears throat> You have to jump. Right? You sure there's no other way? I'm afraid of heights. I, you, you, you just have to. I, but if I don't make it. You're going to make it. But if I don't. But you're going to. Because whatever you think you need to say to me, don't say it yet. Just tell me when we get out of here. Say what? I need you to promise me something. No, I'm not promising you anything because you are gonna make it. Look, this is not that far. I believe in you. Okay, but just will you let me say what I need to say? Fine. If I don't make it, and don't interrupt me, somehow you and so does Terry uh, we set the wedding gift separate. What? We set it, sent it separate, so I need it somewhere safe. It's not here. I need you to go 
and get that juicer back. Because this wedding fucking sucked, even before the zombies. You get that wedding gift back and you think of me every time you drink fresh squeezed. Promise? <laughs> okay. I will get the juicer back. Come on. Alright. I'll move out of the way because if I'll need somewhere to land if I make it, and not too far because I might need you to help pull me up if I just barely make it. All right. Are you, are you sure there's no other way? Come on, I believe in you. Shit. 